Hi you guys, it's Rich from Teach Me Music Academy and today I'm going to be talking to you about perfecting your posture while you're playing guitar. So, posture is a really integral and important part of guitar playing and not just from a comfort standpoint but from a health standpoint as well. It can be the difference between a good guitar player and a bad guitar player and can be the difference between you having a really comfortable experience while playing your instrument or having some strain and stress in various parts of your body due to having incorrect posture and not being able to do what you need to do without causing yourself some damage. So I'm here to walk through some little posture tips to help you be able to play your guitar comfortably and safely while you're playing. We're going to start with sitting down and have a look at how we perfect our posture while playing our guitar on our lap. So let's break this down starting with the position of the guitar to start with. So while I'm sat down with the guitar, I've got the guitar resting on my left leg. I'm a right-handed player, so having it resting on my left leg elevates the guitar slightly, keeping the neck at roughly a 30 degree angle, allowing me to get just a little bit more accessibility to all the frets, no matter where I'm playing. The more comfortable you get and the more skilled you get as a guitar player, the more you'll probably be comfortable resting it on your dominant leg, so in my case, my right leg. It'll keep the guitar a little bit flatter in this case, I mean, you'll still be able to hit all those notes, but you'll be playing at a slightly different angle. But while you're learning, it's really good practice to keep it elevated on your left leg. If you're struggling to keep your leg elevated, you can get yourself a little footstool or find yourself something to rest your foot on while you're playing just to keep that guitar up at this angle while you're doing it. The guitar itself is pressed flat against my body, so it's nice and easy. I can see all my strings, all my frets and everywhere I need to be just by looking down. My back is straight. It's lengthened, but not straightened. The reason I say lengthened is because if we straighten our back, sometimes we run the risk of arching our back. In trying to push our chest outwards and keep our back straight, we can arch our backs inwards, or sometimes we might arch them outwards in order to try and counteract that. If you think about lengthening your back, trying to make your spine as long as you possibly can, it kind of avoids that pushing your chest out and arching your back and keeps that correct posture while you're playing guitar. Let's have a look at what my arms are doing now. My right arm, I've got coming over this rounded arch of the guitar, and my hand rests just near the bridge of my guitar, resting on this case, just over my pickups, which allows me to get a nice string motion in or to start picking nice and precise when I need to. My left hand moves a little bit differently. It changes depending on where my hand is. On the whole, I want my left arm to be fairly straight and minimize any kind of strain that I can cause my wrist by keeping my arm and wrist fairly straight no matter where I'm playing on the neck. This has a big part to do with how I position my thumb on the back of the neck. Now when I'm playing near the top of the neck, my thumb might rest closer to the top of the neck, leaning over onto the fretboard. And that's okay. It's comfortable and I'm happy with that and it's not really causing me any extra strain or stretch to reach any of the notes that I'll be playing up here. The further I move down the neck, the more I want to kind of reposition my thumb around the neck so that I can hit notes a bit easier, especially when I'm playing on the higher end of my register. When I'm playing these higher notes on the fretboard, my thumb kind of slides behind the neck and rests about midway point. So that allows me to kind of stretch my fingers forward while still keeping a fairly straight wrist no matter what notes I'm playing. In essence, my thumb's moving in a diagonal line from the top of my fretboard behind the neck to about halfway down by the time I reach the body of the guitar. And if I keep that in mind when I'm playing, it means that my wrist, no matter where I'm playing and what notes I'm playing, will remain fairly straight and I'll have a perfect posture and allow me to hit every note comfortably and clearly. That way I'm not going to be straining or hurting myself and all my notes are going to sound perfect. So let's have a little look at what happens, how this changes when I'm standing up playing the guitar. So now I'm stood up, let's have a little look at the differences between sitting down and standing up and if my posture is affected at all, which in short, it isn't. A lot of the things that I've said about posture sitting down apply for standing up as well. I'm still having the guitar flat against my body. I still want to keep the neck at about a 30 degree angle, but it's just how we kind of position the guitar with our strap while we're stood up that makes a difference. So the most comfortable area to place your guitar is about waist height. My guitar is just sitting just in front of my belt, which means it's just about in the perfect space so that my hands aren't affected at all by the positioning. Having it this height means that I'm able to hit every single note easily without straining my wrist or my arm to strum it. It's really easy and really tempting to have it hanging down low, to have that proper kind of rock star mode, but it's not really that efficient for your posture. It does mean you're gonna to struggle to hit those higher notes. Your left arm's gonna be bending a lot sharper at the wrist and you're gonna to struggle to hit it with the same precision that you would if the guitar is at this height. So a nice waist height guitar with your strap adjusted correctly will keep the guitar at the right height for you while it's still resting at that 30 degree angle for the neck. 
that 30 degree angle is going to allow you to have your hand placed on the neck comfortably with only a slight kink in your wrist no matter where you're playing. Same with your right hand, you're going to have it in roughly the same position, maybe coming in at a slightly more diagonal angle just to make sure that you're picking those strings at just the right place and time. But other than that, that's about it. Keep your back straight, keep the guitar flat against you, make sure your left arm isn't bending too sharply at the wrist and that right arm is comfortable just here. Other than that, all the same kind of things apply. If you're struggling to get that angle with your guitar, prop your leg up when you're playing and raise it slightly so you can rest the guitar again with the cutaway resting on your leg. And that'll help elevate it a little bit more to get those higher notes when you're playing those solos. But other than that, that is literally about it. The same things apply when you're sat down as they do stand up. And remember, the good posture might be the difference between a bad player and a good player and you being able to play comfortably or doing yourself some damage in the long run. But that's about it for this video and we'll see you next time.